and not just the tournament's number one seed, as the announcer said, also the IRT number one player in the world right now. Achieved that ranking earlier a few days ago. Conrado Moscoso is definitely here to stay. Second time he's been ranked number one. Welcome, everybody. I am Fabio Soto bringing you live this action. 2024 McNamara, Minnesota Racquetball Hall of Fame Racquetball Championships. This is the semifinal, the winner of this match. We will see him face tomorrow. Kane Wazelanchuk in the final. That's at 11 a.m. Central Time. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. Super Saturday is almost coming to an end. We have both the men's pro double semifinals earlier. And this is it. Moscoso to the serve. That's a skip. Sequence right there, Moscoso with the side out. Second serve. Not enough. So the Bolivian national champion versus the Mexican national champion. This could very well be the final of an IRF world championship. Wow. Let's see a replay. Can't get any more compelling than that. Nothing to be done. Parilla just looked at that shot. That's a skip. Moscoso off to a great start, 3-0. Footfall. So head referee is Alan Natera. That's a skip. That's a skip. So Parilla gets on the board here. One serving three. Wow, good touch. Great anticipation by Moscoso. Again, I gotta tell you, this court favors definitely the stronger players. We've talked about it all weekend how good servers prefer these courts. 
Just a serve of a drive serve. The power comes out really nicely out of here. And that's something we don't talk about enough in the broadcast is how much a court benefits a player, if it be, either if it's concrete, either if it's panel. Altitude-wise, of course, if we're playing at sea level, if we're playing at a certain altitude, it benefits certain players. And Moscoso right now definitely has an advantage playing in this court. That's a point. Parilla, is he going to appeal? Yes, he is going to appeal that he wanted, he wants a replay. Natera says that he's not. Let's see what the, okay, call stands. Appeal lost. So one appeal lost for Parrilla. He still has one. That's an ace serve from Moscoso. Such a clean serve. 5 1 now. Put fault called. Great pass. A little too much to handle there for Moscoso. Andre Parrilla. This is where he needs to work his wits. This is where he needs to work on his game. One of the smartest players in racquetball today has to come up with the goods. Five serving one. What a smooth shot from Parilla. The backhand really clean, very smooth. Clean down the line shot from Moscoso. Another clean shot down the line. Moscoso playing very technical. I like that. No room for controversy. You know, thank you everybody for watching and tuning in. Of course, I want to thank tour partners, Gearbox Racquetball, My Pillow. Tour sponsors such as KWM Gutterman. Of course, Caldwell Banker Realty, Fritz Brennenbeck, of course, one of the major tours and uh, tournament sponsors. Moscoso leading 7 to 1. Largest lead so far. Let's see a footfall here. Um, call by the referee. Let's see the replay. Yeah, that foot was over the line. Oh, 
Moscoso just dominating right now, 8-1. Parrilla might want to consider a timeout very soon before this game goes out of hand. Cross court winner. Andre Parilla takes the timeout. So will we. We'll be back here after a minute on IRT Live. My name is Jake Brenbeck and I play with Gearbox. I personally love a solid frame. I just, I've always loved how Gearbox is felt and it's, there's no better frame on the market. My mindset in racquetball and in life, because I think sports and life just coincide, they're great representations of each other, is you have to work hard. Understand that there are going to be setbacks, but if it's something that you want, there's really no stopping you. And that's kind of how I live. I just go after what I want. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We're live once again here. Make sure to scan that QR code on your screen. Help Team USA represent in Guatemala at the IRF Pan American Cup. That will be in Guatemala City. It's such a great and wonderful city. I've been there myself, and it's just fantastic what you see. And it's just one of the best racquetball clubs in the world. Believe me when I tell you, it's just great. Help Team USA represent. Make sure you scan that QR code and make a donation, any donation. Help Team USA, great stuff. I want to thank everybody for watching and tuning in. And this is 2024 McNamara Minnesota Hall of Fame Racquetball Championships. I want to thank, of course, tournament directors such as uh, Karen Bradenbeck. Also want to thank uh, Matt Miller helping out and uh, all the staff involved. Great event. Excellent hospitality. Foot fault and... You know what, I gotta tell you, that was an ace if it had not been a foot fault. Wow, that was a great serve. Andre Parilla is asking for a skip. I'm not seeing an appeal. Yes, I am now. He's, a, he's appealing that that serve was a skip. Let's see if, what the silent judges say. So the sideline judge on the left, see, he can have a good angle of view. Sideline judge on the left does not agree with the head referee. So the head referee's call stands if one of the sideline judges say that he didn't see and the other one says that he disagrees. So Andre Parilla is having a discussion with the head referee. Play continues. So side out now, Parilla. S still trailing by eight, one serving nine.
Cross court winner, Moscoso. Side out again. Moscoso goes for that down the line shot, kind of the overhead and uh, buries it into the ground. Moscoso, skip again. Barria awarded point number two. Serving nine. Moscoso can't get to that one. That's a great shot from Andre Parrilla. Point number three. Let's take a look at this replay. Maria just all business right there versus Moscoso. Another Z. Great pass. Cross court, backhanded shot. Moscoso again with another mistake, a skip. So he has a good lead against Andre Parrilla. However, Moscoso has just been doing some unforced errors. Great pickup again, Moscoso. Wow. Great pass down the line. Let's look at this is a replay. Moscoso, always a great defensive player. There you have it, folks. Such a clean play from Parrilla. Gotta give him credit for it. Thought he was gonna go cross court, but he went down the line. Parrilla just capitalizing on those Conrado Moscoso mistakes. His shot selection has not been good in the past three or four points. And he's paying for it. That eight point advantage that Moscoso had just decreased to four. Side out. Closer to the serve. Great shot. I don't know if you noticed, but you know when Moscoso usually does a good serve, it's a foot fault, right? And when he doesn't, there's no foot fault. So he needs to work on that. Replay called. Ah, uh, yeah. I think I have to agree with the referee on that one. Ten 
Moscoso having a five point lead still. Wow. Wow, I love the quick thinking of Andre Parrilla, but Moscoso was there. He had good court awareness. Let's take a look at this replay. Great court awareness of Conrado Moscoso, good court coverage. Parrilla did really nothing wrong. It's just that Moscoso was on point. Wow, what a great backhanded shot in the corner, Parrilla. So Moscoso just asked the referee for the towel so he can wipe his eye guards off. He does. Not a lot of humidity here, but you know a lot of racquetball has been played in this court. And I got to tell you, even though that there's certain ventilation, it's still the court is still enclosed. I have no doubt that there's a lot of humidity in there. Maria with the serve again. Five point lead by Moscoso. Not a comfortable lead though. I want to give a shout out to everybody watching from San Luis Potosí. Of course, uh, Andre Parrilla, two weeks ago he won the Mexican National Championship both in singles and in doubles. First in his career, he's had third place several times in that tournament. This is the first time he's had the championship. I'm going to give a shout-out to uh, Fabian Parrilla. I'm sure he's watching, of course. Jessica Parrilla, who's in Boston right now, the Boston Open for the LPRT. Shout-out to the ladies over there that they're in the semifinals as well. I'm sure Jessica's watching, her brother. I think one of the biggest fans in racquetball for Andre is his family. So I'll give a shout-out to them for the success that they had two weeks ago in San Luis Potosí. Parrilla still trailing by four. Between the legs, Parrilla. That's a skip shot. Have to agree with the referee on that one. Seven serving. It's ten. Good pick up by Moscoso. Down the line winner, Moscoso. Great pick up. 
Short serve. Moscoso kind of having a tough time getting past that 10 point plateau. Seems uh, Parrilla has just been having a, you know, really a great job of handling this. What a great serve. Ace. Wow, that just stuck to the wallpaper right there on the right, on the left side, rather. Wow, dominant shot there by Moscoso. The winner, the winner of this match will take on Kane Wazalenchuk tomorrow at 11 a.m. Central time. And uh, men's pro doubles is already set. Cullen and Montoya are in the final. Wow. So broken string by Moscoso. He showed the referee. There's a broken string right there. 30 seconds. I want to take this opportunity to thank everyone for watching and tuning in. Remember to like our post, share our feed, and keep following us on social media. Scan that QR code on your screen. Help Team USA represent in Guatemala. Make a donation. Any donation is well received. USAR thanks you for your support of Team USA. Of course, the IRF Pan American Cup will be very shortly, just a few weeks, in Guatemala City. Such a great venue and such a great city for racquetball. One of the best clubs in the country. IRT also will be in Chicago in two weeks. 39th annual Papa Nicholas Coffee Shamrock Shootout. One of my favorite tournaments of the year. Great venue. Great pizza. Great food. Great hospitality. Have pizza night. Taco night. Great stuff. Back to the action as Moscoso continues to serve. 13-7. Biggest lead so far. Right now. That's an ace serve, Moscoso, 14-7. Game point number one. Can Moscoso finish this one? Four points in a row. Is this it for game one? Second serve. Barri is walking to the front court. See if there's a skip on the serve. He is appealing. Is it a skip on the serve? Sideline judges. No, they agree. No more appeals for Andre Parrilla. Fourteen, serving seven. Second serve for Conrado Moscoso. Cross court, backhanded. Parrilla, I like his demeanor. He looks very confident, very solid. Parrilla, can he continue his defense? Down the line winner, Parrilla makes the right shot. One at a time, Parrilla. He needs one. Wow, what a great shot. Parrilla utilizing those three walls in his favor. Even Conrado says, hey, good play, good shot. He's now five behind Moscoso. Great pickup, Moscoso. 
Not enough right there. Parrilla takes one into double digits. Let's see this replay. Wow, Parrilla's just really making excellent plays. Great defense, great offense. Too much. Cross court winner. I guess everyone, including myself, we thought that Parrilla was going to go to the right down the line. Great shot, backhanded down the line, winner. Ace serve, Moscoso wins game one, 15-10. Players will take a two minute break. We will as well. We'll be back shortly here on IRT Live. Hi, this is John Criswell. Welcome to Manufacturing Marvels. Today we're in Rockdale, Illinois, approximately 45 miles southwest of Chicago. For over 50 years, KWM Gutterman Incorporated has established itself as the premier and is currently the largest gutter machine manufacturer in the United States. Initially founded by Carl W. Miner Sr. in the early 1960s, this family-owned business has thrived through three generations to continue building the highest quality portable gutter forming machines in the world today. They are masterful in manufacturing KWM's Iron Man gutter machines and nationally recognized as experts in the gutter industry. KWM's entire product line is manufactured at two state-of-the-art locations. Rockdale houses a 45,000 square foot CNC and assembly facility and Shanahan houses a 15,000 square foot fabrication facility. Adhering to their family values, integrity, and a particularly homegrown way of doing business has made KWM a success story around the globe. KWM gutter machines are sold on five continents, including North and South America, Europe, Africa, and Asia. KWM offers one of the most extensive and sought after lines of gutter machines available on the market today. KWM produces the Iron Man line of gutter machines and currently offers 34 gutter profiles with more in development. This complete product offering is coupled with the most comprehensive warranty in the industry. Come see them at kwmgutterman.com. This is John Criswell for Manufacturing Marvel. Second game. I want to thank everyone for watching and tuning in. For the IRTM, Fabio Soto. Happy to be here at the University of Minnesota 2024 McNamara Minnesota Racquetball Hall of Fame Racquetball Championships. Conrado Moscoso, Andre Parria, number one versus number four. We're going according to seed, everybody. And, uh, you know, I want to thank everybody for watching and tuning in. Remember to like our post, share our feed, and keep following us on social media. Super Saturday is almost coming to an end. The winner of this match will take on Kane Wazelenchuk tomorrow at 11 a.m. Central Time. That's a side out. I have to agree with the referee. That is a very smart play from Conrado Moscoso. Look at his court position and look how he puts his body into it. Even though it's not a forced shot. He could have waited for that to come off the back wall, but no, he decided to move forward. That's a very smart veteran play from Moscoso. Wow, Andre Parrilla 
Wow, what a great backhanded shot to the left corner. Amazing. Wow, Parrilla, point, 2-0. Good start for Andre Parrilla. Parrilla really off to a solid start here in game two. Necessary adjustments have been made on his game. That was very low of uh, Moscoso and Parrilla couldn't put a racket solidly on that one. It's so about a half a step behind on the left side. <laughs> Unforced error there in the hands of Conrado Moscoso. Parrilla. Wow, what a great shot, Moscoso. That's a skip by Moscoso. Four skips so far. Unforced errors. A lot to think about, Moscoso, here. Parilla really playing very solid. Made the necessary adjustments. He's figuring out the Moscoso formula. That's a skip shot by Moscoso, very visible. No appeals. Parrilla again, 5-0. Great start. Moscoso again, down the line. It's a good serve, Moscoso from the back. Wow. 
Great shot. Splat rollout on the right. Look at this shot right here. Very clean. No doubt about it. One serving five. Drive serve. Moscoso. Drop shot, love it. Moscoso. No. Has his racket up, waiting for Parrilla to put his down. I want to take this opportunity to say, everybody, thank you to Latin America. Un saludo a toda la gente de Bolivia que está sintonizando y viendo no nada más de Sucre, sino de todo el país de Bolivia. Un abrazo, un saludo, gran caluroso saludo. Que están viendo a Conrado Moscoso, el campeón panamericano, jugando contra Andrés Parrilla de México. Denle like a nuestro post, compartan nuestra liga. Sigan apoyando el racquetbol en este gran fin de semana de racquetbol en Estados Unidos. Las mujeres están jugando en el Boston Open. Las bolivianas están participando. Para que vean. San Luis, Missouri están jugando los de preparatoria en Estados Unidos. de la Federación Estadounidense USA Racquetball tiene sus nacionales de preparatoria. Es un gran fin de semana de racquetbol para que sintonicen y vean. Las mujeres de la LPRT están también en la misma fase que nosotros. Wow, great shot, Moscoso, side out. Let's take a look at this replay right here. So I want to take advantage and thank Zurich Construction for their safety timeout. Always concerned about the safety of, of our players, constructing athletes and building people. Mr. Francisco Fajardo, great shout out to them. Also want to give a shout out to the LPRT, the finals are set for tomorrow. Paola Longoria will take on Monse Mejia. That's at 11 a.m., but that's Eastern time, though. Our finals are set are not set for tomorrow, rather. King Wazalanche will wait for the winner of this match. That's going to be at 11 a.m. also, but that's Central time. Short serve. Oh, no, football is called, rather. So the ladies are playing in Boston, the men are playing in Minneapolis, and the high school nationals are in St. Louis, Missouri. Down the line winner, backhanded. Andre Parrilla. This is a much closer game number two than game number one. Five serving three. That's a skip by Moscoso. A lot of unforced errors by Moscoso. He awarding point number six to Parrilla.
Most of the shots, most of the points rather from Andre Parrilla have been from Moscoso's mistakes. Unforced errors have benefited Andre Parrilla. Wow, Moscoso reaction to the right corner. The serve from Moscoso. I love Nick. Wow, Parrilla, so accurate, so on point. Parrilla has done a great job of taking advantage of Moscoso's mistakes. Capitalizing. Being consistent. Pick up by Moscoso. Down the line winner, Moscoso on the right. Also on the right. That's a skip. That's short. Second opportunity. Point number seven. Short, Short serve. Great backhanded shot. <laughs> Moscoso. Drive serve. Maria, a little frustrated right there. Four serving seven. Just a three point deficit for Moscoso. Drive serve from the Bolivian. Short serve. It's a good call. There is an appeal for that serve. Call stands. It's appeal loss from Moscoso. His corner man, Carrasco, told him to appeal. He lost that appeal. Moscoso, 4-7.
It's a great shot by Moscoso, backhanded down the line. Kind of clip the left side in the left corner. Great pick up, Moscoso. I can't say that I like that shot from Perilla on the right. He tried to surprise Moscoso, but he read it like a book. Now a one point differential so far. Second opportunity, Moscoso. Six serving seven. Blasted, Moscoso. He was there, maybe half a step behind, and that was it. Parrilla lost his comfortably. Now he's only leading by one. Point. Moscoso in the zone. Still a two point deficit. What a great pass, cross court, Moscoso. Again, within one from Andre Parrilla. Let's take a look at this replay. Great pass, wow. Between the legs, great play, Moscoso. Can he tie it up? That's a point, a serve, he ties it up at eight, wow. Great recovery, Moscoso. That shows you the mental toughness and the preparation. Footfall called. You know, maybe three, four years ago, we saw Conrad Moscoso making a lot of footfalls, but right now, you know, we, we're seeing that again. He stopped doing it about a couple years back, and uh, I don't know what's going on right now with Moscoso. Is it misconcentration? Is it overconfidence? We'll see. Right now, he tied this one at eight. Down the line winner, Moscoso. 
This is the first time that Moscoso has been ahead of Parrilla in game number two. Wow. Lots to think about here. Parrilla just lost its advantage. It's just one point, though. No timeouts have been called so far. Moscoso missing that easy shot. Trying to cut that one off. Parrilla. I like that Parrilla tried to fool Moscoso right there. It looked like he was going to go for a C serve, but instead he went for that cross court serve to the right. Great pick up Moscoso, Parrilla, wow. That's the thing what we've seen about Parrilla, not only just in singles, but in doubles. He anticipates his shots really well. I like the fact that he, his ball tracking skills are on point, but not just that, he just takes away offensive opportunities from his opponents. So Tyler Tom I had taken, of course, Zurich Construction, a safety timeout. Constructing athletes and building people. Mr. Francisco Fajardo, thank you very much for your support for the IRT. Also want to take this opportunity to invite everyone to the IRT will be in Costa Rica. That's in the month of June. Seems like the second week of June. Costa Rica Open. Such a great event. Such a great country. I've been there myself a couple of times. You'll have a blast. Come and join us in Costa Rica. Parrilla to the serve. Eight serving nine. Cross-court winner, Parrilla. Can't put a racket on that one. Moscoso is just very, very compelling. Nine serving eight. Down the line winner, Moscoso. 10 serving eight now. Short serve called. I love Nick. And the skip. Moscoso has just been plagued by unforced errors. Let's take a look at this replay. Parrilla, wonderful backhanded shot. Whoa, there's an appeal because it was called a, a, a skip. Call stands, skip. Let's take a look. Yeah, from this angle, it seemed that it was good, but, you know, good appeal use of uh, Moscoso. Moscoso. Drive serve. Wide angle. Love it. 
Lovely play by Parrilla. The right. So timeout, one minute called by Andre Parrilla, but as it take a one minute, we will too. We'll be back shortly here on IRT Live. My name is Andre Parrilla, and I play with Gearbox. I love about Gearbox that everyone's uh, everyone's part of the family, and uh, they have the best equipment in a great sport. Dedication makes a great athlete. Obviously, talent and passion. One of my beliefs is that, is that we're capable of doing a lot of things that we cannot even imagine. It's just part of uh, enjoying the process and then gets to whatever we want to get. Any sport that young athletes are playing, uh, if you really like it, and as I said, if you put the dedication and the passion, I told you guys you don't even imagine how, how far you can go. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. RT wants to invite you to scan that QR code on your screen. Team USA will be representing in Guatemala City. So help Team USA represent in the IRF Pan American Cup. That's coming up in just a couple weeks. Scan that QR code, make your donation to help Team USA. This is very important for IRF World Championships that, that will be held this year in San Antonio, Texas. Make sure you scan that QR code. Any donation is worthwhile, and we thank you for that one. Buen angle, Parrilla. Good time out for Parrilla. Great pick up, Parrilla. That's what Moscoso needs to do. Be compelling in the offense. Because Parrilla, one of the best defensive players in racquetball, he picks up a lot of those shots. You have to be solid. You have to be compelling. That's the shot that Moscos is looking for. 11 serving nine. 11 serving nine. Broken string from Moscoso. He's showing the referee, so that's a, uh, a technical timeout. IRT wants to invite you to join us in two weeks. We will be in Chicago. 39th annual Papanikos Coffee Sham Rock Shootout, one of the best tournaments of the year. What a great venue, historic venue at the Glass Court Swim and Fitness, one of the longest running venues in professional racquetball. Also, we want to remind you that the IRT will be in Costa Rica and San Jose. What a great country to visit in Central America. I've been there myself a couple times. Make sure to join us right there. A lot of time to plan. This will be in the month of June. Wonderful venue, wonderful play, great country. Some of the best coffee in the world that you will ever taste. So Corral Moscoso and Andre Parrilla, according to seed number one versus number four. Moscoso. Leading 11-9. This is the biggest lead so far for Moscoso in game two. He's been trailing so far almost all of the match. Wow, cross-court winner, Moscoso. 12-9. Wow, Moscoso just firing that one in the right corner. Compelling shot, no doubt about it. Andre Parrillas challenging a foot fault. Call stands. No more, no more appeals for Andre Parrilla. He is at the mercy of the referee. No. 
Wow, Moscoso with that pump fake. I love it. Andre Parrilla not happy about that one. Match point, Conrado Moscoso, 14-9. For the match, Moscoso. Drive serve, is he gonna to go to the left? Yes he is. Screen serve. Let's see what type of serve Moscoso dishes out in his second attempt for match point. Interesting. C serve. Moscoso. That's a skip. Moscoso, a mistake. Unforced error. I thought he was going to go for that backhanded cross court. He tried to go down the line. Kill for show, pass for dough. Even a player such as experienced as Moscoso has trouble remembering that. Ooh, skip called. 10 serving 14, Parrilla trying to find his groove here. Let's take a look at this one. Yeah. Parrilla, C serve. Another mistake by Moscoso, 11 serving 14. Wow, what a great put away, Moscoso. For the match, Moscoso, match point number three. And that is the match, ladies and gentlemen. Moscoso takes this one 15 10, 15 11. Congratulations. Well, hold on. There is an appeal. Match point, though. Call stands. Moscoso defeats Andre Parrilla 15 10, 15 11. Well, thank you very much, everybody, for joining us for Super Saturday. Finals are set. Moscoso will face Kane Wazalencha tomorrow at 11 a.m. Central Time and at 12 we'll have the men's pro doubles. Thank you everybody for watching and tuning in. I'm Fabio Soto for the IRT. Production crew is Rafael Gatica, Carlos Ramirez and Pablo Fraje. We will see you tomorrow here on IRT Live.